So the main event matches keep on coming. Good. And Chris Travis wisely attacking Pack from behind. He certainly remember what gravity was as he uh, fell from the second right down to the mat. Well, as much as I don't agree with what Travis has just done, I think you've got to give him credit. I guess he needs to get his own game plan in early. He doesn't want to let Pack get in the swing of, of his game plan because it could be an early shower. You have Chris Travis. You, would, you, you should be rightly intimidated by Park. Park is the probably the biggest success story to come out of this country in the last five years or so. A member of World One International for Dragon Gate USA. Uh, he's also a regular roster member of Dragon Gate over in Japan. Just what a tremendous all-round athlete. Stacked. Chris Travis says, look at that, as usual. Whoa! You want to annoy Pack? You just uh, thrust your bits in his face. Well, yeah, it's not going to adhere himself to Pack. Is that Pack getting his first break in the original One PW, becoming the first ever open weight champion? Yep, absolutely right. And a Rumble style tournament. Whoa! But since then, it's gone on to, I would say, bigger and better things. But he's gone on to greatness, as you said. Good. Dragon Gate, open the Brave Gate champion, the Triangle Gate champ, yep. the Twin Gate champ, yep. the United States champ, and yep. open the United States. Unbelievable series of accolades in Dragon Gate. The pack that we see now is completely different to the pack that we used to see many moons ago. More methodical, more calculated, and far more ground-based as well. But you see that the speed and impact of all of the 
the basic and rudimentary manoeuvres that you just saw like a Horican Rana or a Snap Suplex is so much quicker yeah. than anybody else I think I have probably ever seen. You could almost say he's the complete pack edge. What's the hair reference? Do you want to No! <laughs> yeah, you keep opening those Christmas crackers, Dale. You'll find another one like that fairly soon, I'm sure. Well, this is exactly what Chris Travis did on Hunt. But it was the idea behind jumping back from behind. It was getting it done early. Yeah. Getting into the back, resting yourself before the sixth man elimination match to decide oh. Southside Wrestling's first ever Speed King champion. But it didn't quite work out that way because Pack is now on the advantage and on the offense. One, Driving his forearms into the side of the face of Travis. He's not going to like that, it's Travis, because it's messed his hair up. Well, he was using an iPhone and some hair straighteners uh, before the show, because he didn't have a mirror. Your iPhone, Dale. Okay. I'm sure that picture will find us. Oh! Right on the back of you Travis. Will. And you will not find a better, more crisp, rounded shooting star press anywhere in the world than that one. Camel clutch, hooked on, but notice how the, the press has just centered on the back of Travis, and now his knee no! is driven straight down the back, just adding more power, more pain. I think we found out where Pac intends to be working on for the uh, duration of this contest. I don't think Pac uh, figured that he was going to get Travis to tap out for that, but it's no. just weakening that back a little bit more. No. It's gonna, you're going to struggle to stand when your spine's in 4,000 pieces. Chris Travis is a high caliber athlete. Uh, you're going to have to do more than a move like that to get him to tap out. Oh, into the corner. Pack now charging up. Oh, good grief. Chris Travis somewhat mirroring uh, his tag team partner, Marty Kirby, in the. Wow! Leaping Northern Hot Suplex. As I was saying, somewhat mirroring Kirby in his escalation in, in British wrestling. He was obviously one half of the, the match of the year with Martin Kirby, but he's also put himself on the map with a series of matches against Kevin Thorne. Good God, were they, were, they were just ridiculous. Um, I ended up being in the balcony when the two of them fought each other up there, and uh, I've never seen strikes like it in all of my days. But it's matches like that which lead them to companies like this who put on some fantastic matchups. We've seen a main event matchup. Almost all of these matchups yep. have been of main event caliber or guys that will be main event in a few short years. And you have to think of the international ramifications of this as well. Chris Travis beats somebody as well traveled, well versed, and, and so well respected as Pac. Yeah, what doors does that open for? My him? God, we're going to be seeing Chris Travis possibly on the next plane out of here. Yeah. I mean, if you beat somebody who has had as many high-profile matches and has held as many championships as Pack in Dragon Gate, you've got to figure that they will. Dragon Gate will want to watch this match. They'll yep. want to. They'll want to see how their guy is doing. If Travis could beat him, would that put him on the map and put him in the eyes of the Dragon Gate people? I would have thought so. He'd fit in just fine over there. Great show speed there from Pack. I didn't. I, I, I blinked and I missed the point from where he was in the ring to when he got out of the open. Whoa, oh, look out. He's not wasting any time and nor should he! Good job that guy got off that seat. Because otherwise he would have been wearing Pack as a belt. Well, Pack topade into the front row. Up close and personal with the action here at Southside. Well, we like to make sure that the fans uh, get as close to the action as humanly possible. Maybe even take a wrestler or two home for the weekend. <laughs> Chris Travis laying in the stomps on the outside. He's very comfortable out here. To say the matches with Kevin Thorne were all out wars and they made him very accustomed to brawling and street fighting. Because if he didn't, he was going to get killed. He would die. Well, Pack just driven into that steel ring post. Pack reeling on the outside. Two, Hang on a minute, if these guys get counted out, does that mean there'll only be five people? Yeah, five people in the elimination match? I guess so, it would be a judgment call on main. We'd have to get uh, Southside management's call on that one. I think we would. 
But that would... Cheeky finger. Cheeky finger to the eye there. Straight in. All the way in. Like a double cat, but it's beneficial to neither man. Travis clearly miffed the uh, officiating there. Travis has one of the shortest fuses of any man alive. Irish whip. Look at that horrible look on Travis's Whoa. face. Oh. Uh, vintage Travis there, the high knee, followed by a, a, a vigorous course. tea bagging. Yeah. I think. Covers it. It's quite a lot of body on body there. Travis thrusting his pack edge in the face. Oh, God. Where are you finding these? Rebound rides from Chris Travis. That's probably a little disrespectful. Just a tipsy wincy bit. Just a tip. Yeah, I've got a question now, Adam. I've got a question why you would want to. Oh, my Lord. Wow! And for several seconds, we had a pink lampshade right on the ceiling. Incredible. Do not adjust your sets, folks. Um, Chris Travis has, let me just get to confirm in my earpiece here. Yeah, he's just broken the domestic and international uh, high jump record. Well, uh, the, uh, the Olympics committee <laughs> will be looking at Travis after that. Holy crap. And that was a game changer right there. And Park is back up. He looks pretty miffed, to be perfectly honest. The sides of his pants, the sides of his thighs, I know. He is well put together. Locks the right, delivers a forearm. Third one, fourth one. Oh boy. Fifth one, they are wow. just rocking. Christopher Travis. And a back elbow. That one straight across the throat. That Travis looks on Dream Street right now. Angry. A hard jump in the lariat. And Travis trying to get a little separation here. Yeah, what Got Travis? Clock cleans. But, well, yeah, yeah, it would be safer on. for Travis to get back yep. into the ring at this point. Oh my God, look out. On the top. Oh my Lord. Sky oh, Twist and Press. Let's go. Oh my God. Sky Twist and Press from the top to the outside. Oh, Christ the knees, on the mic. The knees of Pac just straight across and the face. you can face. see right now, I don't know if you can see this on the camera shot or not, but... Pack is now kneeling down on the outside. That took probably as much out of him as it could have done out of Chris Travis. Unbelievable. And that is what Pack brings to the table. The spectacular. I thought they said love was a cannonball. There was no love in that. Oh, good God. Pack looking for a, a springboard of some sort. You never know with him. He probably knows, all, he probably knows about 800 moves off the springboard. There's no way we know what Pac's got in mind right now. Frog body, two, no! Really? Are you? Oh my Lord. Travis is just where, he doesn't know where he is at the moment. He could be in St. Neots, he could be in Cambridge. Hang on! Great ring awareness. Yeah, you got to hand it to him. Smart, man. Yeah. Smart thinking. As much as I hate to see that, sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do. And With the stakes as high yeah. as becoming the first speaking champion, Chris Travis will take as many shortcuts as he needs to because the momentum is certainly back. Back on him now. Uh-oh. You know what he's going for, don't you, Dale? Yeah, ego trip from the top. Hits the mark. And Pac looks like he has no idea what day of the week it is. Two and no! I think the only saving grace there for Pac was that that move from Travis was pretty much out of nowhere. If he'd have sent him a lot more offence on the back of the neck before he hit the ego trip, we could have seen him advancing here. Travis hasn't really been focusing much of his offence on any one particular part of the body. That's because Pac has just corkscrewed the living piss out of him. Ow! Catches him with a jolt kick. 
suplex. Oh, oh into the power bomb! Two! And two! Unbelievable, Adam. A suplex into a power bomb. My voice is going to be ruined before the end of this night. Absolutely ruined. Travis not happy. Oh, the rope looks a little loose. What is he happy? Well, fast getting the reputation of being the most miserable man in the whole of British wrestling. He's more miserable than me. He's saying something. Look at that Death Star pile driver. Let's put many a foe away. But Pac drops, drops the one knee, one knee down on the map. He's not going anywhere. He's going to fight this as much as he can because this move is a match winner when applied. Look at the power. That's those massive wrestles. Wow. Every inch of Pac is a rippling muscle. Oh, my God. A boot to the back of the head. Both men down. Travis sat on that bottom buckle. He's not going anywhere. He's on Dream Street. Archie is going somewhere, oh. straight to the bloody top rope. Yeah. And Pac is going to follow him up. Top rope, Hurricane Runner, perhaps, oh my no, god. No, no. It's probably going to get worse before oh it gets better god. for Chris Travis. Oh my god. He almost deadlifted him. How strong is Pac? That's Unbelievable superplex. Barry Windham would have been proud of that. I think if Pack had just been a little bit quicker into yep. the cover, we could have seen a three. But he put him over too oh, far. Hold on a second, Adam. Shooting star. Sky to it. Who knows? You just don't know, do you? I don't know. Four, 38, 90, Wait, 50, 50, 30. Who's got? God knows. He can do them all. Oh, yeah, look at him on that top row. Oh, and Travis got the knees up. This could be the opening that he needed. Hooks it. Under. Death Star Driver. Covers. Hooks the row. Two. This oh. is over. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner and the fighting to the tournament final, the shooting star, Christopher Travis. Incredible, Adam. Absolutely incredible. It only takes three. We say it often, it's cliched, but out of nowhere, Christopher Travis hit that Death Star pile driver and he advances to the final of the tournament. Fantastic matchup in a night of unbelievable matchups. Um, everyone, our main event here for the Southside Speaking Championship. Fantastic. It's been said many times before, but it is legitimately called high risk offense for a reason. Pat climbed to the top rope. All he found was the knees of Chris Travis. One Death Star driver later. And the most traveled man in this tournament is packing his bags and going home without the title.